Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm going to show you five DIY low waste or minimalist Valentine's Day gifts. But first, a quick story time for all of y'all out there that don't have anyone to spend Valentine's Day with. A couple years ago, I was all alone on Valentine's Day, and I felt really sad and lonely. I went to work that day, and as I was picking a podcast to listen to, I came across one called Polyamory Weekly. Now, even if you're not polyamorous, this is a wonderful podcast to listen to. I backlogged the whole thing that day at work, and by the time I went home, I felt more loved than I ever had in my entire life. I really recommend this podcast because it taught me how to appreciate all of the relationships in my life. Friendships, family, even acquaintances. To really value each relationship in my life in the form that it currently takes. Also, don't devalue loving yourself this Valentine's Day. Even if you have a partner to spend it with, remember to love yourself and do something to take care of yourself. I know people are tired of hearing self-love and self-care, but I encourage you to do some of these things that I'm about to show you for yourself, if not for anyone else. And stay tuned to the end of this video to meet my partner. So let's jump into it. Number one. Repurpose an old shirt. Take an old shirt that your partner loves but can no longer wear, repurpose it into a pillow. You can sew the edges like this if you have a sewing machine or the time to sew it by hand, or you can tie the ends and make a frilly one. This one's gonna be a lot easier and quicker. So all you have to do is take your old shirt and cut a square around the design or logo or whatever part that you're trying to keep. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It's the thought that counts, right? Save the rest of the fabric and you can make zero waste dryer sheets or cloth wipes. Alright, now we're going to separate the two layers. from past lovers, taking up physical space in their homes. So instead, you can get an edible pen and write a love letter on a cookie. Reveal to them how much you love them by writing a note on a cookie. That way after they read it, they can enjoy it. Get really creative with this. It's a lot of fun and it makes a wonderful Valentine's Day gift for anyone you want to show your appreciation for. Number four, cook them a meal. A 
avoid all of the hectic restaurants on Valentine's Day and stay home. Try to make them something. What's their favorite meal? My partner has been asking for me to make seitan steaks for months and I just have not had time. So this Valentine's Day, even though it seems kind of cliche, I'm gonna make vegan steaks at home just for the two of us. So try to get a little fancy with your Valentine's Day meal. Do a little more than you normally would. The time and effort you put into it is what shows the love, even if it doesn't turn out perfect. Number five. Number five is a group activity. This is Matt. Say hi, Matt. Hello. <laughs> For number five, we're gonna do a date night jar. So we each have five strips of paper that we're going to write date night ideas on, and then we're gonna put it in this jar. So whenever we have a date night, shake the jar and pick one. <laughs> what? What are you writing? So my first one is movie theater night. And I've got Chinese food and video games. So wait, we gotta fold them the same way so that we don't know what's what. So I folded it in half, well, in gonna, half, and then in half. I was gonna make ninja stars. So then we would know which ones are yours. We have exactly. to not know what's I different. need to be able to pick mine out of the crowd. That's how. Is that not the purpose of this? No. Oh, okay. My pen is dying, that's not fair. That's it, nope, you're out, game over. Thrust, I get to do all <laughs> nine remaining items. I got one left, what should I do with it? What should I write? I don't know. Does it have to be nighttime? Can it be a daytime date? It can be a daytime, it's just a date selector. I think we should not call this a date and night, it should be date selector. Okay, this is a date selector jar, not date night jar, because some of the things can be done during the day, and we don't always have time at night, so just date jar. You already done? I don't know what to put for my last one. What do we go out and do? That's the question. We don't really have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff right now. Well, that's the point of the jar. It's like, oh, hey, we really, we're like both working so hard, we're both going insane. Let's take tomorrow night and actually do something for ourselves. What do people do for dates? I'm so lame. I already put three outdoor things. See, maybe that means you need to be thinking of indoor things. But you, you like the indoor things, I like outdoor things. Learning is your thing. I would say overall learning is your thing. Maybe we take a class. Documentary night? Maybe take a class together, or a documentary night could be cool. I like documentary night, and then I can show you all the reading documentaries. Okay, so I'm gonna close the jar, and I'm gonna shake it up, and then we're gonna pick one the next time we have time. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to fit one of these into the near future, unless it's one of the summer things, because the summer things can't happen now. Try to make them walk around the lake. It's 20 degrees outside. Tw we live in Texas. It's 25 degrees outside. It is like 60, y'all. It's not cold. Holy shit. Chinese food and video games. Lady Luck fucking loves me. All right, so I'm actually in Orlando, Florida. Stay tuned to next Friday to see why. I was editing this video on my way here and apparently it did not capture the outro. It cut a little too early. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are down in the description. Like this video if you're gonna do any of these DIY Valentine's Day things. Or let me know down in the comments any DIY low waste or minimalist Valentine's Day gift ideas you have to share with the community. And subscribe to my channel. I make recipe videos, intentional living vlogs, and sometimes sit down chats. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post a video every Friday. I am the Vegan Rainbow. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.